Hey y'all, welcome to Flip Squad. I am Julian and the sun is directly in my eyes. There you go, maybe. And today's gonna be more of a like how we actually run this eBay business. Right now is a thing we do every day. We ship every day. I don't know if y'all ship every day, but we have a uh, next day shipping and we actually are allowed to go to the back of our post office. There's the back of our post office right there. And Kayla actually goes in and drops the stuff off with our scan sheet now and we never go inside there's no line anymore or anything like that and they have been wanting me to do this for years i just never did kayla was like i'm not waiting and you know up there it's not you don't have to wait in line but you just there's no room to put the packages so they came to her and said hey just go in the back and basically if we just put it inside with a scan sheet and it has actually worked better our tracking is up to 100 percent I usually always, when I ran the uh, the shipping, I'd always be at like 98, 99% on the tracking. Someone's, someone you get scanned in, but since the scan sheet, it has really worked out so that uh, it is a big improvement when it comes to that, is doing the scan sheet and also dropping the stuff off. So here's the star who made that happen. Now, as you can see back here, we have a ton of stuff back there that's already been listed and we have to go inventory this stuff. Second, but we're gonna head to the storage unit in the storage unit and what we have to do basically, and we haven't really found a better way to do this, have we, about custom skewing stuff and making sure the bins don't get overflowed because our issue comes into this. So we grab tons of stuff and this is the stuff that we've listed in like less than a day that, and all that stuff over there is also listed. So what we have to do is now put them in these bins and what happens is that we're running into is like maybe one day a lot of stuff sells out of C13. So C13 is halfway full. So then we'll pick C13 for the new stuff. So there's no way to like know which one when you list the item that the bin's going to go in because it's all kind of like guess, right? When you say it's kind of like a guess. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's why and it, it is a little time consuming, but we do fly by because not everything goes in bins. That's just like usually small breakables. We've changed now to all of our shoes go right here in the middle and probably need a taller shelf for that. Plus just go over here and then really this is like glassware back here and then back here is all the tools and the this stuff still needs to be listed over here. So that's basically how we do it. We got boxes in here also. So we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff organized and custom skewed, and then we're gonna go to the other storage unit. We've been doing pretty good with local sales. We had three sales in the last two days locally. One was a chair, one was a nice cabinet that we got out of the uh, the storage unit. People were saying it was worth 200 bucks. We actually didn't really do a lot of cleaning on it. We just don't have the time. Posted it, said it needed cleaning, and sold it almost instantaneously for 150. And we just sold a queen size frame and headboard for 30 bucks. I know you think that's cheap. The thing is, is that we are running out of space. So as any type of cash stuff we can get out and then make room for like eBay stuff is definitely the way to go. So we're gonna do this, head over there. So at the other storage unit, and we bought a whole bunch of these at a yard sale the other day, and I probably spent too much on them. These are like old yokes for oxen and we got uh, I think we got 11 sets of them we paid a hundred dollars for all of them and we store anything that doesn't have to be climate controlled in this one so stuff like that that's old and rusty anyway and kind of gets better looking as it gets old and rusty going there we got blow molds and stuff in this one and that's uh we don't even custom skew them we just know one day we probably won't know, but we just kind of know that the stuff that doesn't need to be climate control goes in here. We would like to move all of our glass in here too because it just takes up so much room. The climate control is way more expensive than this one right here. So we like to keep only things that need to be climate controlled in that one, but take a look at this. Look at all this room that we have now. We just sold the bed, like I said, 30 bucks and it was super cheap. We sold the little cabinet. We got this listed on uh, local, the singer listed on local. We can't give away this TV. Everybody that's come over here, I've tried to give this Emerson TV away. What have they all said? Nah. nah. Nobody wants that TV, so uh, we'll probably end up throwing that away or something. It's just, nobody wants a non-smart TV. Then this big bad boy right here is listed locally. Those are listed locally and we're still trying to give those way and the artwork. So we're doing pretty good. The thing that's clogging, again, this entire unit up is all this stuff I bought that are the auto parts. What do you think about the auto parts? Bye. Um, we sold one. We did sell one. Only 65 more to go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, continuing on with what we do in a daily, in a daily day. 
That makes no sense. But we just went to the gym. We actually go to the gym every day, try to at least at like, what, two or three? Mm -hmm. We find out that doing that, instead we used to go in the morning, but felt like it drained our energy and we didn't like getting up that early. Like if you go at two to three o'clock in the afternoon, it kind of like picks you back up for the rest of the day. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the orders. This stuff we will go ahead and pack and ship out. Uh, we did go ahead and when I did the storage unit on the Beer Thrift Machine channel, we got a whole bunch of these flies and I said that I'll sell them all together in a lot. And they went for $20.50 on bid. Also, I sell a lot of uh, boxes like this. This is an older Plano. But how I sell it is I sell it loaded. So I sell it, you know, completely full of just random stuff, fishing gear and everything. This sold for $30 plus shipping. I like to sell it like this. One, it um they sell better that way. And really, you get it so cheap because you're still making a decent profit. $39 for the Big Jack. This is actually pretty nice. We picked this up from some Boy Scouts. They had a yard sale. Remember this? Mm -hmm. I picked it up for like three bucks. And it just goes up. It's just a scissor jack, basically. You go for $39 plus shipping. They're like $60 bucks all in on that. Juicer parts. I'm telling, telling you. Selling juicer parts is the way to go. We sell, How many juicer parts do we sell? Tons. At least one, two a week, seriously. So whenever you find a juicer that's pretty decent, part that thing out. This sold for $19 plus shipping on that, so that's pretty good. And then, was that 19 or was that 15 That was 15 this was 19 This is, I know you can't see it because Kayla pre-wraps these, and they look beautiful. These are some salt and pepper shakers, and they are Tweety and Sylvester. So these came out to $19, I think 25 cents plus shipping. Good sale there. So basically what we do now is that we... uh take this stuff we take it back home and she's the packer and the shipper and we've changed a big portion how we do that which we'll tell you in a little bit so uh let's go back to the house we had to run back into the storage unit because we did just sell as we were loading stuff in the truck harley davidson uh i think this might be used i think it's a used tank top ten dollars plus shipping on this kayla is shutting this stuff up right back there wave people ah there's kayla so Another good sale. Our sales are actually doing pretty good. We had a couple slow days, but they're really starting to come in because we are listing a lot more, and that's really where it comes down to. I believe is you make more sales when you list better items and more items. So what we're gonna do is go home, pack all this stuff up. Actually, we got some other stuff to do. Oil change. We gotta do an oil change on the Tahoe. All right, so we're about ready to change the oil in the old Tahoe, though, but we got a message on eBay, and we always get, like, you know, tons of messages on eBay just because, uh, you know, asking questions and stuff like that. But this question is about a pair of shoes. It says, does it run, do they run small, large, or true size? How do you all actually answer that question? I'm going to be honest and be like, I don't know, because we picked them up, you know, at a, uh, a sale, and we're just trying to sell them and stuff. They're Adidas. I know Adidas usually run pretty true, but I don't know about that. So how would y'all answer that? I have no idea. I'm just going to say I really don't know. And um, we have free returns. I always tell people that, hey, you know, they don't fit. I usually don't like to say that because it's, but it usually makes them feel a little bit, you know, comfortable to buy it knowing that they can return it. We don't get a ton of returns. They have been up slightly and most of them have been change of mind returns. There's nothing wrong with the item, but we still do free returns on stuff like that. And uh, that usually goes up after Christmas anyway. But we're gonna uh, you know, message this guy back. We try to message everybody back when it comes to eBay messages. But this one, I really, really don't know what you know to say. I don't know. And then, uh, so we're gonna go change the oil. And then uh, after that, we, got, we have to pack and still list some stuff because all we've been doing today is cleaning. We've done uh, you know, organizing. That's a big part of this is that the cleaning and the organizing and a lot of people, and to us, that's that actually takes the most time is, is cleaning, organizing, and going from there. But this, got to keep that thing running. What are you learning on YouTube right now? We're learning how to reset the little change. gauge up there. You see that one? Okay, on YouTube, you can really learn anything. That thing is good to go, Dan. You're like, you're like a mechanic. So what we're doing is we had a couple of front end lights out, and this is way harder than actually doing the oil change, isn't it? Yeah. We gotta remove the whole grill, headlight assemblies on both sides. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. But uh, this thing's almost done. Then we still have to go pack and list some things. All right, so it's 8.30 at night. And this is usually when I come out here, I watch YouTube up on that screen right there. And then I list some things. And so far I've listed like 
five or six items. Most of it was from the storage unit. And uh, I'm gonna list these, sh these shoes real quick right here. And I like to list, at this time, I like to list between 8.30 and like 9.30 at night. And then Kayla's in there actually, she is packing stuff Nothing really that serious or hard to pack, so I won't show it, uh, it's just small items. But our main thing that we've changed is we use now Pirate Ship for everything. We no longer go through eBay. It's because one, we charge all that shipping cost to a credit card and get cash back. And the scan sheets are the exact same on Pirate Ship. We actually have a claim going out on Pirate Ship right now for uh, some damaged stuff. And it was a big, it was a Bose system, got damaged. We packed it the best we could. And actually it only took a couple days and they did give us the money back for that it was like 114 dollars so claims on there i've never won one on usps i kid you not i've only done a couple but each one was very difficult but the pirate ship one within a couple of days and sending them information pictures uh we basically had to just make sure the buyer which was a viewer so thank you so much for sending us those pictures because then we we did go ahead and forward them to pirate ship and they said that we packaged it correctly. It's just one of those things that got damaged. But going through Pirate Ship did seem really, really easy. But this is our day. We did about $500 gross sales on eBay. That's where we want to be. We'd like to be between $350 and like $550. The other day we did like $850. So that's pretty high for us. But if we're between there, that's pretty good for us. Always remember, you're going to have good days on eBay. And then you're going to have really bad days on eBay. And as long as they equal out to where you want to be, then you're doing pretty good. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, this is the Flip Squad. If you would subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and I'll see you later.